Get busy living or get busy dying. Folks, welcome aboard Thursday night, the Cacophony Edition. Thanks for joining us. If you've been following us along this whole time, we hope to wrap it up uh, this evening. If this is your first time, uh, go watch the shows in the archive because we got them all there. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Yeah, if you want to shoot the shit about D&D with us, uh, go ahead and join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our weird stuff, like a phone case, uh, the link's down there somewhere. Most importantly, if you want to join us on the show for the one shots Saturday uh, or the talk show on Tuesday, hit us up as soon as I get shit out of my eye. M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. We will get you on a show. Uh, give you a little two hour break from reality. We'd like to thank our sponsors uh, tonight Pirate Dog Dice. Will I use Big Red? Probably not. Uh, yeah. I might use the clear one, though. <laughs> so just to fuck them over. Uh, Pirate Dog Dice, if you want some custom dice, hit them up at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. Uh, and don't forget, if your game stinks, try a little Adventure Sense. It'll spice that game right up and make your players think about something else other than how bad a DM you are. Just kidding, <laughs> but not really. Not uh, really. <laughs> Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com, who also make the Shine system. So if you want to get into writing, check out their Shine system. Uh, folks, this is the Cacophony Edition. These are the Cacophony players. They are at sixth level. They are at the top of the tower. And I... No, I, I hate this microphone. No, no, no. He's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my microphone's a little bit off. Uh, before we get into the recap, let's introduce you to the players. Uh, our youngest murder hobo, uh, excluding the two young Sunday recruits, Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin, who are you and who do you play? There's people younger than me now. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Little Frank is 12. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, definitely not younger than that one. <laughs> <laughs> They're 12 going on 30. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm actually 11 and a half. <laughs> so I'm Caitlin. I play Daphne, the paladin tiefling today in our cacophony, who has been kind of a bit since we've played. So I'm excited to be back and hopefully not die. I've never had a character die, and I will be really sad and cry. On oh, <laughs> you really shouldn't have told me that. Oh, that was a rookie mistake. Never mm -hmm. tell Frank. Next I've up, never you... had a character I care about die. Like, I've had one shots where characters die, and I'm like, ah, whatever. They're disposable. Yeah. Nice. It's disposable human beings. Well, aren't you just a racist? Uh, the Rose Between Two Thorns, David. David, who are hey. you? you play? Uh, hi, I'm David, and tonight I'll be playing Zadar, the arcane trickster, who is a changeling. Right now he's in a, or she is in a Talosian um, form right now, female form. So, yeah, let's hope I can make it. Uh, I can't remember what Zadar did last time, but neither can Zadar, so. That is true. So it's all good. Last but certainly not least, normally she's behind the camera tonight. She's in front and behind the camera. Our producer, Carrie. Carrie, tell us about you. Tell us about your character. Oh, there's not much to tell about me. Uh, I play Camille, a wizard necromancer who likes cheese and coffee. And Neither of us was found in Telosia. <laughs> Folks, this is the Cacophony Edition. These guys accepted several weeks ago, several months ago in real time. Uh, the opportunity to help uh, Hepta, the seductress, or, or the seductive, uh, the proclaimed leader of Telosia, help clear out a tower. The Tower of the Kurd is historically uh, where the Telosian people have uh, taken a ruler, but that area has been destroyed due to unknown circumstances now known by the party since they are on the very top level of the tower they have beaten the last kurd who was undead unfortunately they wandered into the bedroom where a mysterious green glow was taking place a beam of three lights uh shot out from underneath the bed striking camille zadar and daphne unfortunately 
Only one made the wisdom save, and now Daphne and Zadar are the, 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 the feeble-minded for the next several hours. We rejoin Camille and Tigris, a Wemic member of the, uh, hell, it's been a month, can't remember, uh, of the Emu tribe, uh, half lioness, half uh, woman. Uh, she has uh, brand new to adventuring. Uh, she almost captured Daphne on her very first day. Uh, she has followed the group uh, and help them along, even though she has very limited martial skills. So as we begin, uh, Camille, your eyes are temporarily blinded by the green light, but you maintain your sanity. Uh, as you look around, Daphne and Zadar are wide-eyed and lost, just wandering around. You and uh, Tigris uh, can still see the glowing gem underneath the bed, to the right of the bed is a large case that looks like the gem would fit in it. Uh, as you try to gather your senses, Tigris is doing the whole Saving Private Ryan. Uh, and you slowly take into her words as she's screaming, what do we do? What happened to him? What's that thing? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so are there doors in this room uh there's just the door into the bedroom are we in the bedroom you are she is not zadar and daphne are also meandering around in the bedroom yep and now you begin to feel the tower shake as the green light from the gem starts to pulse and appear to be drilling into the stonework. Uh, dust falls from the ceiling, and a quick glance at Tigris indicates that she is scared shitless. Okay. And screams again, what do we do? You get in here and shut the door. Okay. <laughs> okay. So everybody's in here, the door is shut. Mm -hmm. So, and the gem's under the bed? Yep. Do and I have mage? To the right. Do I have mage hand? <laughs> Zadar did. It didn't help. Uh, <laughs> that that is true. He already used it and it failed. Oh, yeah, I gotta see what I have. Um so do I feel the vibration from the thing or is it just like Oh yeah, the tower's vibrating substantially. Okay, so... Give me an insight oh. check. Eleven. Took a fourteen. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh, Tigris screams out, What do we do? Shut up, first of all. <laughs> she, she is going to be zero fucking help until you tell her what to do. So the case, is it just sitting there? Is it open at all? It is. It's open. It's like a musical instrument case, like a clamshell almost. And it is to the right of the bed. Okay. So I go over and grab the case and I shove the bed back so I can get to the stone. Give me a strength check. This should go poor way. <laughs> you think? <laughs> She's got a minus one. Oh, I wow. Do? Yeah. Oh, well, son of a bitch. I believe so, you have an eight. Straight, where is it? Oh, no, I, I've got a zero. It's nothing. Oh. So I got a five. <laughs> the bed is far too heavy. At this moment in time, Tigris is holding her ears shut, and she looks like Guy Flegman from Galaxy Quest as the ship is getting blown to bits. Ah, I don't know what to do! Uh, Zanar <laughs> and Daphne... Okay, so I get my quarter staff out, and I go under the bed, and I try to pull it to me. Hit it. <sighs> nice. Uh, 11. Uh, that whacks it. Unfortunately, it doesn't knock it all the way over. And as the tip of the jewel comes out from underneath the bed, a green light is emitted... Odd Tigris, even you. Uh-oh. Three 
hits Tigress right in the face, and with a natural one, falls unconscious on the floor. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Woo! DM rules. <laughs> wow. You are alone. Okay, so I am carrying a set of common clothes, so I pull that out and I throw all the clothes over the gem. Hit it. Uh, use dexterity as your modifier. 15. Yeah, you cover it. Uh, the gem continues to pulse, and you notice that its speed is intensifying. The tower is shaking violently. Okay, so I grab it on the outside of the cloth, and I shove it into the case and shove, close the case. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the buzzword today. Hit it. Uh, what am I using? Dexterity? Yes. Uh, 19. Oh, easily. Yeah, you pick that son of a bitch up. D12 against me to see if the clothes fall off. Well, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. 11. Not one. <laughs> you stuff everything into the case. The gem is just... It's like a movie where the bomb is going off. What do you want to do? Cut the red wire. <laughs> No, I want to close the case. You slam the case down. There's too many fucking clothes. Okay, so... Give me a wisdom check. Uh, 7. <laughs> As you yank the clothes off, uh, you do it incorrectly. The gem emits a potent white glow. Give me another wisdom save to be protected against its energy. What is it, wisdom? Yep. 15. Oh. Uh, you are blinded, step backwards, trip over the bed, and as you look, the clamshell case falls over, trapping the gem within it. Uh, you see spots everywhere. <laughs> because you are, for the most part, blinded. Is someone taking pictures in here? The violent shaking has ceased. Uh, your head starts to clear. You look over. Uh, Zadar and Daphne are feeble-mindedly walking around the area. Uh, Tigris is still down. Uh, odd even. Nine. Odd. Zidar is wobbling over towards the case. Oh, no. <laughs> I shove him. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> Uh, 13. Uh, Zanar, you get shoved. You don't feel it because you're feeble-minded. Mm -hmm. You slip on a shirt and are pushed into an armoire. Uh, Daphne is... Rocking in a corner. <laughs> walking into the side of the wall. <laughs> uh, you hear a soft moan from Tigris. I uh, go over and go, you okay? <laughs> Uh, she is going to be out for an hour. Mm. Ah, Mom, I want ice cream. Uh, Camille, you stand in the Tower of the Curd, alone, almost naked and afraid. The cheese uh, you, stands alone. <laughs> you have captured the gem in this unusual-looking case. Uh, give me an Arcana check. Twenty. Do I have a More. modifier for that? Probably intelligence, but that's oh, more than a twenty-six. Oh yes. Uh, you realize that this box, this container, uh, seems to be lined in a heavy metal. Uh, as you touch it, you can still feel minute vibrations, as if the 
gem is still activated, there are also two latches that would hold the clamshell shut. Uh, would you like to open it and examine the gem to see what it's doing? Or no, just... we're just going to close that shit up. Fair enough. Uh, what do you want to do for the next 59 minutes? I guess take a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't deserve it. Actually, that, that does work. Uh, <laughs> because in our previous episode, Tigress got teleported up to the roof and ended up just crashing her way through. So you know that there are are no opponents there you've searched every room on this level and every other level so a short rest is well deserved uh what do you want to do with uh doi and dur here wonder twins <laughs> I right. guess tie them to the bed so they don't hurt themselves kinky <laughs> i always after, knew she was a kink <laughs> after an hour and you can use as many hit dice as you want to recover your hit points um uh, Tigris seems to be coming out of it. What happened? She thinks she's the Admiral of the Enterprise. <laughs> uh, I, I tell her, I say what happened. This. I saved all of your lives using oh, all of God. powers. <laughs> this, this is Tigris. Yeah. Uh, no, I Not just... much to look at, but a real nice lady. Told her simply, I got it in the thing, shut it down, and it seems to be contained in there. Can I go look at it? No. Seems like I ought to be able to go look at it. Really? After what it did to you? And those uh, two? <laughs> after another hour, Daphne wakes up, and the paladin tiefling looks at herself, roped down to a bed next to Zadar, and thinks, What happened? I need to throw myself down a flight of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I would just be like, you're not the roofie me for this. You essentially got roofied by an arcane object. <laughs> uh, do you explain to Daphne what happened? Of course. I used all of my I arcane powers. powers. Go ahead and save your lives. You fucking owe me. Give me the ebony fly. <laughs> Because don't forget, Daphne, you have the, or who's got the ebony fly? Daphne. Okay. So, uh, after another hour, Zadar. Oh, no, don't stop. <laughs> he wakes up and tied to the bed and he goes, as I expected. Yeah. Another Saturday night. And it's she, it's that he. <laughs> oh, that's right, she. Uh, do you explain to her what happened? Of course. Using all of my arcane <laughs> powers. Uh, it has been four hours and it is nearly dusk yet again. Everybody roll perception. Mm. Oh, well, that's one. <laughs> I'm very tired. <laughs> Are you uh, screaming? Six. Go ahead. 16. Daphne? Three. Wow. Uh, Daphne and Camille, so do you have that fucking phone? <laughs> <laughs> Got tinnitus in your ears. Uh, Zadar, you hear a faint horn sound. Uh, Tigress, five. So apparently only faux chicks can hear it. <laughs> so uh, does it sound like something that the emu used prior? Didn't they sum summon a, a horn? She, yeah, they had a horn. Okay, but but the the other three do not hear this. Okay. Um, is there a window? Little tiny window. I'm gonna go take a peek out of it just to see. Uh, something strange is afoot. Uh, where this tower was once bare. Let me show you what this tower freaking looks like. Uh, where this tower was once bare, it now has ivy vines oh. running up it. Um, nice. I fully expect you to draw the ivy vines on this for a full detailed uh, picture. You don't That'll have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen his drawings? Yes. Oh my. <laughs> where are the little I'm really afraid. There we go. 
Nice. There. Suck it, Daphne. <laughs> There's no leaves. What? The ivy is so crazy. It extended beyond the building. It's going. It's, it's like a well-endowed ivy. It, it's it's go it's going to the sky. It's only been four hours. Uh, has it already noticed plant life on the side of this lifeless shithole building? Uh, the look outside of the window does not reveal anything, but the horn is getting a little bit louder. Okay. Um, it. I mean, these people are conscious. It's just like I hear a horn. <laughs> I Everybody don't think I don't think again. it's tinnitus. <laughs> All of us. What are we doing? Uh, perception check. Tiger's still in here. Shit. Fifteen. Camille can hear it now. Nineteen. Everybody but Tigerus can hear it. So. Uh, you guys also notice that something seems to be changing in Tigerus. Like what? It's not nearly as ugly. Oh, well, that's nice. That's good. <laughs> so. She had a beautiful soul. I'll, I'll, I'll withhold that thought for now. So maybe we should go downstairs and see uh, what's going on. Okay. I agree. Uh, you guys. spit out on the ground floor of the tower. Uh, as you look to the left, where you had approached, uh, there are two violets, one on either side of the entrance to the tower. Spears can be seen approaching the winding egress where you guys came up. Uh, as you guys wait a few moments, Multiple Talosians are marching up to the top of the mesa. Leading this group is Tigerus's dad, Rorjak, shown here. <laughs> he takes one look at his daughter and rushes forward to give her a fatherly embrace. Aww. Yay! It and says, you look so he, good. Uh, behind uh, Rorjak is, of course, that shithead half-orc, uh, Cord the Loud, uh, who looks... Everybody give me an insight roll. Uh, uh, 14. Uh, 14. Wow, okay, fine. Five. Uh, <laughs> Daphne is still suffering the loss of tinnitus, uh, or whatever the hell you call hearing loss. Uh, Zadar and Camille, you notice that he is somewhat puzzled. Yo, well, what's your problem? So you want to come out with layers of clothes on? Huh? <laughs> you still have clothes on you, right? D oh, no, can Zadar. Mm. Okay. Can oh, talking about when I was walking into the wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. Just like, I was like, it's uh, like clothes kept falling on you. Yeah, that, that'd be fun. Uh, behind Cord the Loud is Hepta the Seductive uh, and Talana. About time. Uh, the Judah clan is there followed by uh, a couple of young men that you are quite familiar with from the edra uh along with somebody who you do not recognize you see zach habus and nimbus from the city of graf whom you mm -hmm. met out on the plains uh, they are behind another individual who is a female uh who looks rather stern and curious at the same time Leading the pack are a pair of, give me insight checks. <sighs> Surely you got to do better, Daphne. Don't jinx it. 21 for Zadar. Why can I not remember? All right, 19. Plus one. 15. Uh, all three of you notice two assholes. Uh, they look like Talosians. Uh, you have not met these individuals. They have the uh, me eyebrows pointing down. They do not look happy. 
Behind them are a line of troops that you do not recognize. That group bears a sigil that you are not familiar with. Uh, as the assembled personages come up to you, hep to the seductive. Huh? 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 I told you, trust the foreigners. They have done it. See the growth. Look at the ivy reclaiming. The land is being healed because the heroes I have chosen have succeeded. <laughs> uh, Rorjak uh, is infinitely curious about what Tigress has seen, what she has done. Is she okay? Uh, is she going to have PTSD? She didn't have anything to do with Zadar, he hopes. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, the other groups uh, are, of course, the Erda, right? Oh, Edra. Edra and Zach, Habus, and Nimbus introduce you to their leader, Pulse, P O L S E. She uh, is receptive. Remember, only Camille can understand them. Uh, Zadar, Daphne, you can understand Hepta and Talana and that contingent. You do not understand the dialect because they're from like New Jersey or something where they don't really speak English. Uh, <laughs> they so, sound perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, that's what you do. You, you all, you guys always sound like that. That's okay. <laughs> uh, Camille, you can hear America. Uh, uh, what do you think of this? Uh, hey, boss, what do you think? All uh, right, uh, I ask Pulse. I'm like, so <laughs> what's what's going on? How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fine. How are you? How I, do you speak my language? I rip over my shirt and I show them my shield. Boobs! Boobs in the international <laughs> language. It heals people. That's right. <laughs> if you watch Scrubs, it does. Uh, <laughs> Pulse immediately recognizes what you are wearing, takes a step back, and peppers you with questions. Where'd you get it? How'd you get it? Who do you think you are? Why you, Why do you bear that? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Zadar and Daphne. We don't know anything yet. <laughs> uh, however, who are the ones that survive? Juju and Muka come up to Zadar oh, and right. Daphne. Uh, hey, congratulations. You didn't kill us, Zadar. We really appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> uh, folks, if this is your first time watching, Zadar was slated to watch one of them. That one did not make it. Uh, Camille, how are you going to handle uh, Pulse? Um... I think that we should all sit down and have a conversation together to answer these questions. I need answers now. Um, that's not going to happen. I would like you to. You are speaking to the leader of the Edra. You shall answer. What I was going to say is if I could gather all your leaders together, we could have a group discussion. Fine. <laughs> uh, Zadar and Daphne as Muka uh, begins to talk and Juju nods in agreement mm -hmm. explains to you that uh, a few hours ago both the Edra group uh, Hepta and the leaders of the Wella and Zimna group who are diametrically opposed to the Judah clan led by Hepta Mm -hmm. All arrived, uh, much to the chagrin of Cord the Loud and Rorjak, who is still hanging out with his daughter, uh, making sure she's okay, taking in all the information that she is delivering to him. Uh, she is uh, speaking in their tongue, so you don't understand it, but he's looking back at you guys, uh, rapt attention. He, he's just eating this up with a spoon. Uh, you then see Camille... Uh, with kind of an upset pulse uh, walking back towards you. Uh, the three of you gather together. Juju and Muka congratulate you, Camille, on surviving the trials of the Tower of the Curd and uh, relay the information that they just told Zadar and Daphne. Uh, pulse, Harf, Esta, 
and Hemta all begin to argue vehemently with members of their attach, uh, detachments, uh, nervously holding spears. Uh, might get ugly. What do you three want to discuss? What do you three want to do? Well, so I, don't know, I, I, I think we should probably take the leaders into the tower and sit down and have a discussion with them. Back into the tower? I mean, it's cleared out. I feel like it's safer to stay outside the tower. No, that's fine. <laughs> we can set up a powwow outside. Yeah, we're going to, like, casually set the grass. I will take it. There are splotches of grass returning to this barren mesa. And uh, quite quickly, uh, where is the container? In my hand. So you're carrying the bowling ball around. Yes. That's cool. She's got the football. <laughs> the football. The nuclear football, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Z Zadar still has the crown, right? Remember, he snatched it off the king's head? <laughs> yep. Um, I assume it's hidden and he's not wearing mm -hmm. it like a Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I came out of the wardrobe wearing it. Hey! <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so the groups are arguing amongst themselves. Rorjak, using his Leoness powers, roars loudly and begins to speak in a common form that both Daphne and Zadar can understand fluently and he explains to them that they are still within his domain and he will handle any issue um, the members of the detachments of the other groups shift nervously realizing that decorum dictates or jack is correct Hemta Meh. steps up and points out that she is the rightful ruler and demands to know what is going on, turns to you three and says, you were hired by me. You will answer to me. What happened? Well, we kind of figured out what happened. Who the hell are you? I didn't hire you. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I shift back to the... In Jessica front of Warren. them. Ah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. At this point. <laughs> they, they know. <laughs> Most of them. Uh, with a nat one, everybody freaks the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I put the crown on. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Your, your persuasion rolls will be at minus four. Oh, oh man. He, okay. he just freaked the fuck out. What would you guys do if somebody <laughs> turned into something else? Uh, Hepta, however, is not freaked out, nor is Tolana nor is Juju or Muka. They have seen Zadar change and understand what he is. The others, not so much. You aren't getting the <laughs> thumbs yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, Muka and them know, but, you know. So what do you want to say? Uh, we just tell them what happened. We cleared mm -hmm. out the tower, blah, blah, blah. We got up here, the blah, 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 the stone, covered it up, blah, 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 blah. I pull Camille to the side. We know the history of this, right? <laughs> it's the uh, Talosians are the treacherous ones. Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> Ju Judah clan. Judah clan. Judah, That's Judah right. clan. Yeah. Uh, all three of you roll a d12. Two. Uh, ten. Seven. Uh, the three of you go ahead and give a very convincing argument, and you hit all of the points. Behind you, Tigris nods and occasionally utters something in a Talosian dialect that only Camille understands, and it is more akin to, that's right, bitch. <laughs> uh, so the leaders of the independent groups, uh, minus the Zeli and the Azine, who, let's face it, they suck anyway. Uh, they have listened intently. They eyeball Zadar nervously, uh, but feel that your account, along with agreement by Tigris, seems to be valid. Uh, but let's see. The first question comes from number three. Pulse. Great. 
What's in the box? Why? What's in the box? I tell her it's <laughs> what sundered this land. There we go. What sundered the land? <laughs> Let's just say <laughs> it was an artifact. Yes. Hepta. Where did this artifact come from? The tower. Where at? The chamber of the curd. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's all, it's all it's all ringing the bell now. <laughs> no, Harf goes, "Wait a minute. You foreigners entered the holiest of holies?" And yet I still stand. <laughs> Jack Black, that one is for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've used all my arcane knowledge to stand here. <laughs> Harf with a four is pissed. He is pissed off. Who gave you permission to enter this? Why did you go up there? What was your intent? How do we know that that box was up there? Okay, first. At this point, Tigris steps forward oh. and gives a much better growl than the first time you heard her use it, causing uh, everyone to take a step back. Good for you, sister. She unloads on these guys. Camille, you can tell that she is calling them every name in the <laughs> book and how she explains that all four of you put your lives on the fucking line to save this country and they need to show a lot more respect a lot faster. Harf and Esta... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and I speak up and I said, besides, we had the Seneschal, so we could enter that chamber. That is going to cause some derision in the group. Uh. As they all recognize the fact that you indeed possess the mark of the Seneschal, and Rorjak points out that she had this armor before she arrived in the emu land. Na 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 boo boo. They ask for Esther says, how did you come to possess the Seneschal mark? I was gifted it. By who? By a ghost. I was about to say, I can assume the shape of the banshee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's piss him off again. Uh, wow. Uh, Harf whispers something to Esta, and the two nod in agreement and accept that answer. Um, Hepta also asks what is in the box. What is it? You don't know? I've never been to the Tower of the Curd. How about, is the old, like the really old guy here that we met? No, he is not. Okay. Oh. Or I don't think he could have made the trip. Yeah, yeah he really went know. north. He went yeah. north from the lake. Should we tell her the true <laughs> history of the tower or? That, that's what I'm getting to. <laughs> she ain't gonna like it. <laughs> Go this, ahead. Th this, boys and girls, how you handle this is going to be very important. Okay. Good or bad. So I, if you want to discuss it. I think we need uh, to have Zadar do it because I am not diplomatic. Don't, uh, don't forget, I'm at a Zadar's, negative four. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. I, I can. I Daphne's got a high charisma. Yeah. 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 I don't. Uh, so. 
Somebody else uh, better do it. I'll explain it to her. <laughs> yeah. I, say, her yeah. I say we should tell her the true history. Oh. We tell her uh, the... Uh, what is the name of her group? Judah. Judah. Uh, brought a gift to the Kurd that was what's in this box. They left instructions do not open this box. The Kurd with his vanity and with his uh, what will they call it? Um, Ego? A avarice. There we go. Decided to it was his right to open that chest. He did. And the world sundered. So I'm going to say everything I was just saying. So, I was to say so obviously, the Kurd and the Judah were both equally to blame for what's under this land. Okay, Daphne, give it your best roll. Just charisma, Chad? Persuasion. Persuasion. Oh boy. Oh no. Get a six. Maybe I should just roll the actual dice, not the ones on the <laughs> Do you have your actual dice? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and roll it because this is critical. <laughs> I don't want to die here. I have she rolls it. <laughs> Come we'll on, wait. Kyle, get your dice out. We'll wait. <laughs> I forgot to put a little mini in here. Okay. All right. Roll dim dice. Speaking of dice, I just ordered these super fancy ones that light up. Now, is she advantage or disadvantage? Okay, so if I do it that way, then it's 18. Okay, so if I do it Grumble, 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 grumble. Esta from the Zimna <laughs> clan, diametrically opposed to Judah. While this is good news, foreigner and Camille will be uh, translating for you. You should not cast doubt on one of the tribe lords without evidence. Do you possess the evidence to back up the claims you have stated? I actually do. Yeah. Oh yeah. The journal. <laughs> Who's got it? Zadar. Okay. So uh, Zadar presents it to Camille to present to them and to translate. Because doesn't the the pictures open up and the the luminous uh, script start to appear? I think. What, isn't that what it did? I, I think, think so. I don't remember it, but sure. He was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Talana oh. steps up and begins to speak, but is silenced with a wave of a hand. Hempta steps forward and speaks in common. Mm -hmm. You dare? blame my people for what has happened here not exclusively no no we're not blaming you we're just saying this is the, this is the sequence of events that happened <coughs> it's not a blame game it's just factual right right i believe it was the folly of man that led to the sundering You mean foreigners? Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Talana looks uncomfortable. Helpta is mad. Rorjak has been contently listening to all of this. Finally, the book arrives in his hands. He looks it over and he says something to Tigerus in a language that none of you can understand. 
Tigress goes on a long soliloquy. I can't understand it. Nope. Okay. Uh, it is a, it is a personal personal kind of code that they are using. She goes on a litany about something. Lorjak listens intently. Closes the book. Who wants to d12 against me to see how this mess is going to turn out? Why don't all three of us d12 against you? How about just one of you? <laughs> <laughs> I will. Okay. Four. Three. Oh, <laughs> nice. Well, Talana, hopefully. <laughs> Talana is mad. Pull, Pulse is mad. Harf is mad. And Esta is mad. Awesome. Hepta is pensive. So the information contained in this is the diary of the last curd. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Or the last seneschal? Curd or curd. seneschal? It curd. was the curd. It was okay. the curd. It was his own journal. It, okay, it was yeah. his journal up in the top. Yeah, he said he was going to open it. So. so that is what you were saying. This was penned in his hand. Yes. Yep. Looks at Camille and says, can you write down what you read? Didn't everybody just read it? Yes. You should be able to write it. I mean, you can comprehend the language. She can comprehend the language. She cannot write it. Oh. Oh, no. Then, no, she cannot write it. She thinks I wrote it. She does indeed. Hmm. Uh, the others seemingly have their anger boiling up within them. Look to him to the seductive, since she's the rightful heir. <clears throat> I accept this as fact. Okay. Stunned looks all around, except for Rorjak and Tigris, who nod in agreement. You also notice that Tigris and Rorjak are starting to lose their puffiness a little bit. And more flowers are growing around the barren mesa. The land clearly is healing itself. So they're the rightful rulers. Hepta calls for her people uh, Juju and Muka build a fire, make camp, and prepare a meal while she digests this new information. Uh, the other leaders do the same with their minions. Uh, several fires are made. The light is starting to fall. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. You guys, you guys have a meal, but there is an uncomfortable silence during the meal as each of the leaders are uncertain as to what the others are thinking. So at various points in time, uh, Camille, you will get Hempta. Zadar gets Pulse. Thank God. And Rorjak goes to Daphne. Uh, Harf and Esta don't give two shits. Hepta speaks with Camille and says, am I still the rightful ruler? Do you think you are? I do. Why do you think that? It is my destiny. How do you know it's your destiny? Marty McFly told me in 1955. <laughs> I mean, uh, this this is what I have been told since the day I was born. And, I am the rightful heir. And who told you that? 
every single person in my tribe, including the tribal elders. The Judah tribe. The Judah tribe. And did they know about everything that we learned today? If they did, I do not know. Okay. So the Judah tribe. Clearly one of the largest landowners, if not the most uh, landowner. Over to Zadar. Pulse, not digging on Camille, <laughs> asks Zadar, who is the rightful ruler? I posed to her, in light of all this evidence that we talked, uh, that we presented, who do you think is the rightful ruler? I am the rightful ruler. And and why is that? I lead the Edra, the hmm. largest mass of population. We fled the area in the time of great calamity. We alone Cowards. managed to save our civilization. That's why she hates your guts. Oh, well. <laughs> I believe it is our destiny as saviors of the bulk of our population that I am the rightful ruler. A pulse, a post to pulse is just like the fate of Telosia was placed in the hands of the Kurd and you see what has happened that was one ruler do you think one person should have this much power over such a vast land and so many people ah good point yep <laughs> <laughs> Wah, wah. <laughs> oh, I say in truth. Remember, you were minus four, so you yeah, got nine. I say, yeah, I say, well, in truth, there should be a figurehead to it. But I think the the other tribes have some kind of stake in this, too. We are the bulk of the population. While the Judah have more land than us, we have more people than they do. That's true. That's true. Daphne, Rorjak approaches you. <laughs> Thanks you profusely at protecting his daughter. Aww. He is forever in your debt. What my daughter has told me is that you three acted in her best interests, protected her when she needed it, and encouraged her when she didn't need it, but really did. For that, you have my undying gratitude. But now I must ask, who should rightfully sit in the Tower of the Curd? Uh, me? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and Daphne's dead. They kill her as a heretic. <laughs> Um, I think you should have at least three people elected, not just one. Really? That was an answer <laughs> I didn't expect. Uh, he did not expect it either. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you notice that his face is I don't want to say gaunt, but definitely thinning. Mm. And his features are becoming less uh, lion-esque. Uh, as the mealtime is over <clears throat> and the fires are now just used for illumination and heat, uh, the heads of the families state that the matter should be slept on and a decision made in the morning when cooler heads may prevail. Agreed. Are you all in agreement? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Harf and Esta volunteer their footmen as guards. Who are their footmen? Yeah. I'm sorry? Who are their footmen? 
Uh, Harf is from Wella and Esta is from Zimna. <coughs> Juju and Muka. Uh, what does that mean? Alana says, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I think a member from each delegation should stand watch. Uh, that uh, sounds reasonable. Mm-hmm. Rorjak points out that he did not bring anybody. So he will stand as his own. Tigris interrupts and says, Father, we shall both bear the duties and we shall split the problem. What do you three want to do? Hmm. Well, have a civil discussion about three equal but separate branches of government. <laughs> so. Are you going to explain how a bill becomes a law? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> or, or what conjunction junction means? Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, I think we should counsel within ourselves. The three of us is just like, sure. I have Go no ahead. idea. Out, out of your shop? Go ahead. What do you guys think? Okay, so I think Lioness and her father need to be the rulers. <coughs> They're the only ones that don't want it. Yeah. I mean, that's who else, though? They still need a third. Well, I mean, they've kind of been the stewards of the tower all along, you know? So, um,. I mean, I'd have no problem. I have confidence in uh, Tigress and her father. I can't pronounce the name. I keep wanting to call him Rorschach from from Watchmen. Um, Rorschach. Um, I mean, they're the only ones that weren't angry. They were the only ones that looked at the evidence. mm -hmm. They're the only ones that's not like, oh, it's ours, it's ours, it's ours. Right. Right. Or, um, I think they'd be fair. I would. I mean, the third person we could pick out of a hat, per se. I still think, I don't know, because it's like in the family. <laughs> or let a council determine who the ruler is. Yeah. Now, now, not to really dig deep on you guys, but you are in a powerful seat to help determine who rules one of the major nations. So mm, not, don't, don't take it lightly. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not. We don't need to hamstring these two with the rest of the fuckers who determined that they all should be in, in rule. Right. Well. That's just my opinion. Right, right. I mean, just I mean, based on our experience, the emu sent, seemed to be the most honorable. They suffered the most from this calamity. So, calamity, huh? Um, nice tie-in. Yeah. You know, and I would say, I, I think there should still be, I mean, they could have the nation vote on issues. Mm -hmm. Taking out the rulers and that can be you know that can be taken into consideration that's true i mean you know or they can just stay as leaders of their their own lands that meet here at the tower to discuss how how this country uh, how this this land should be run so, I don't know. There's no easy answer. I think we get a hundred people and we call them senators. <laughs> <laughs> and they do jack shit, but argue. I'm trying not to make that correlation. But <laughs> so. so, on a separate note, uh, night is starting to fall. Do you guys want to just rack out? Do you want to share the guard duties? Uh, clearly, the groups each have their own henchmen, for lack of a better term. Right. Present. 
I think we should th share guard duties and see if yeah, we can hear definitely. anything. Definitely. Cool. Who wants to take first? I will. D12 against me. Of course. <laughs> and Daphne and Zadar had a long rest. <laughs> Two. Zadar, uh, you or Daphne second? Um, I'll I'll take the, I'll volunteer for third watch, or, or if Daphne needs more rest, I can take the middle watch. So you guys have had like six hours. Okay. So, uh, Daphne, do twelve minutes. Uh, Eat. Zadar, third watch, roll against me. Okay. Three. Very good. Uh, morning dawns anew, and the first thing you realize is the desolate mesa that the tower sits on is now covered in grass and tiny wildflowers. Looking over to one side, you see Tigris squared off with the other guards with her cowl up, uh, sitting with her face hidden in the shadows so that they cannot determine who she is looking at. Mm -hmm. As you guys look around, you realize that two individuals are missing. Hmm. Are we... Um... Do we have any recollection of which one, which two I'm missing? Absolutely. Harf of the Wella clan mm -hmm. and Hempta the seductive are MIA. Ooh. Okay. We think they could have went into the tower? Don't know, Lucy. Um, I guess we can bring that point up <laughs> that two are missing. Okay. Uh, as the camp stirs, Talana, who was already asleep, uh, Muka fell asleep on watch. Uh, Juju and Talana point out that they never saw have to leave. They have no idea where she is. Well as pe or Harf's people <laughs> aren't going <laughs> to tell you shit. Of course not. Uh, Rorjak appears <clears throat> ish. Overnight Rorjak has almost completely changed form and he is a bipedal human being. Oh, wow. His mane is gone, but his stature is erect and very potent looking. He still carries his deep guttural voice in a commanding tone. And Tigress whips off her cowl and she is gorgeous <laughs> and bipedal. They have completely changed form. Hmm. I can relate. <laughs> like more human looking. I'm I sorry. Feel. They're like Same. more human looking. Sorry, right? They they look like Telosians again. Mm -hmm. okay. They've lost their lion-esque legs. Uh, whatever curse they were under, whatever mm -hmm. curse the tower and the lands were under, seem to have been broken. The tower still sits on a mesa, and the canyon is still present. Uh, but if you want to look over the edge, you'll yeah. notice that it is a green paradise now. Yeah. The waters are clear and everything like that? The waters appear to be clear. Uh, the landscape is exploded overnight. Everything is covered in blue and gold flowers. Uh, something has changed. But Hepta and Harf are missing. What the we hell? still have we still have the football, right? 
D12 against me, Camille. It was on my hand all night long. <laughs> she was handcuffed to it. That's right. Four. It is still present. Oh, thank God. It is still <laughs> secured. Hey, tell Camille, what are we going to do with this thing? Esta is pissed and is demanding in a language that Camille can understand where are these traitorous bastards at? Why are they traitorous bastards? We were all supposed to remain here. I think they have gone into the tower to steal the crown of the Kurd. They do not have the crown of the Kurd. <laughs> Did you steal it? No. How do you know they did not have it? Because we put it somewhere safe. He checks your prison wallet. <laughs> I'm not keystring, thank you. No. <laughs> uh, where did you put it? We're not going to talk about that until we make a decision today. First, we need to find them. Well, yeah. Okay, so let's go in the tower. If that's where you think there are, let's go. I, 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 I've never been in the tower. I'll go right ahead. <laughs> After you. He walks into the centerpiece, uh, sees two doors. This should be the people's tower. Uh, you have to remember that this tower has been off limits for over a century. None right. of these people... I, I mean, not Actually, even with e either door, there is no wrong answer. They both go up, right? Right, but I'm just saying, oh. He doesn't know that. You're all yeah. pissed off because the foreigners went in. You should be more deserving than we are, and you're being hesitant about it? Come on, sack up. He's offended and Good. chooses. <laughs> <laughs> Left. Uh, he walks into the area where all the skeletons were. A lot of stairs. No, it's it's the realms. oh yeah yeah, uh, yeah poor colors. Yeah. And he he begins the climb. His people look around and Rojak says, "Fuck it!" Up he goes, followed by Pulse. Uh, the leaders are storming ahead. Uh, they're taking their time, making sure they don't fall. Do you guys want to wait, or do you guys want to take the shortcut? We'll yeah, take, the take the short, shortcut. The shortcut, piss them all off. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you guys go in. The men at arms. Magic. Wait, is Linus with us? Oh yeah, Tigress okay. is here. Or Tigress. Tigress, sorry. She, she's not Tigress anymore though. She's yeah. she's a babe. Abel Does she have a Telosian name now, or is she? She's it's still, still Tigress. Yeah, okay. it's still Tigress. Uh, yeah. Her. She didn't want to change her luggage, so, so it's, it's they didn't Tigress. talk about the change in their appearance. Uh, they. They don't really know. Cause, oh, okay, they haven't looked at mirrors. Right. Well, but they looked at each other. Uh, actually, they have not. Tigress has seen her dad. Her dad is more concerned with where the hell are the other two. Okay. Uh, so Tigress is kind of puzzled, but you know, she has no idea that, you know, because she's wearing a traveling robe, so right. she doesn't know. Uh, you guys go up the stairs, the men-at-arms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come follow on. you you guys get up to where the uh faux throne room and the baton that daphne used to open the trap door and beat to death uh the golem uh, <laughs> get there uh a few moments later you hear the trap door fly open uh, you hear hi you hear harf go it's another room and he gets up and he gets about halfway up and he's like Climbs up and out, followed by Rorjak, who kind of smirks uh, humorously at the situation, followed by Pulse, who's looking around. Uh, let's see if he's smart enough to see the stairs in the center. He is not. Okay, where do I go next? I'm asking. Um, Sadar, it's on you because I just pissed them off. Yeah, I think at this point, what, we'll show them to the chamber of the Shenasal? Or is that where they are? Uh, they are just outside the door. Oh, okay. All right. 
Let's show I open them the in. door and bring them to the antechamber. There's no exit from this room. I'm trying to remember. How, how did that go? No, no, no. The Seneschal's up on the third floor. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Um, I guess lead him the way to the third floor, I guess? Okay. Uh, let's see if he stays on the third floor or if he goes up. He going up. Fuck the no. third floor. He goes up, deposits himself out into the throne room. Uh, he gets up there. Rorjak gets up there. Pulse gets up there. Who's next in line? Uh, Tigress is next in line. Yeah, she she'll be up there. Forward. Uh, and you guys hear an audible gasp from all four of the leaders. Who wants to be the first party member up? Camille. Yeah, she's the one that can speak. <laughs> Camille, as you look between them, you notice both Hempta and Harf unconscious on the floor next to the throne. Oh, nice. They tried to sit in it. <laughs> they did indeed. There are scorch marks on their clothing. Dumbasses. Camille, do you want to demonstrate for them? <laughs> It, it doesn't affect you, remember? Oh, that's right. Okay, sure. Yeah. I'll demonstrate. Uh, uh, Pulse says, so you're the rightful heir? Maybe. You're a foreigner. This is impossible. <laughs> Ooh, that's some loud thunder great we'll see if steve is scared of thunder oh poor steve hey Trix yep. trixie we'll, we'll also see if we have power yeah oh that there's a cliffhanger for you <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, uh they do not accept the fact that a foreigner is the curd no, um not gonna happen i say i'm just teasing i think whoever Where's the thing? Pretty much. But we're not going to tell him that. Yeah. Rorjak will figure it out. She wears the mark of the Seneschal. There's the Seneschal would be able to sit in the throne. Yeah. Clearly, and he's starting to put things together. Clearly, these two are not the rightful rulers. Otherwise, they would have no peril in sitting there. Mm -hmm. uh, he turns to Esta and says, Go ahead. <laughs> I was about to say, who thinks they are the rightful heir? Please take a seat. <laughs> uh, in layman's terms, Esta says, no fargan way am I <laughs> sitting in that chair. I have never claimed to nor believe I am the rightful heir. Why don't you, Rorjak, sit on it, Potsy? <laughs> uh, pulse. See how she does. I pass. So you don't think you're the rightful heir? I never claimed I was. Yeah, you did. I've changed my mind. <laughs> okay. And because Pulse, Pulse is the Erda. You know what? Fuck you guys. Pulse steps up. Awesome. Let's see this. You will now see... Who is the rightful heir? See how bad it happens. <laughs> A loud crack of lightning <laughs> hits the throne, causing her to smash into one of the partially broken curd statues across the way as both uh, Esta and Rorjak Watch her fling across. <laughs> Anybody else? Tigress leans into Zadar and says, May I have the crown? And I, I get her to turn to me clandestinely, mm -hmm. and I produce the crown for her. 
a big sigh and she steps up to the throne pulls out the crown turns to her father and apologizes puts the crown on her head and gingerly sits in the chair the clouds outside part and where she fell through the roof a sunbeam comes in and hits the crown causing it to shine brightly just as hepta pulse and harf begin to regain consciousness her father takes a knee as does esta as do all the men and women in arms behind him including muka and juju very nice what do you three do i think we should take a knee yeah to say i take a knee with them yep yep hi girls <laughs> does not look happy oh i i accept rulership as the curd i would ask why are you not happy she never wanted to be this was not what i wanted to be uh, a tear rolls down her father's cheek and he points out i knew that it was you but i did not want to tell you <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Talana, dejected, Pulse, pissed, and Harf, neutral, rise to their feet and take a knee. So it is written, so shall it be done. Tigerus is named Curve. They gather their forces. They tell her that they shall return with tribute and they shall spread the word that a new curd has been selected. Um, she asks that they remain so that they can hash out details on it. They bow with respect and return downstairs, leaving you three and Rorjak behind. My friends, thank you for helping me. I am sorry that you were injured and any reward that you were offered, I will go ahead and gladly pay. Hempta will not be happy about this, but I believe she will abide by my rulership as I am the rightful curd. Sadly, I must ask a favor. Oh boy. We got to go to a volcano and drop the, the football into it. <laughs> this item has to be destroyed. Yes. I, I, I do not possess the knowledge on how to destroy something this powerful. I ask you if you know how to do it or if you know anyone who would have a vast amount of knowledge that could help you. Mortimer J. Sneed? Perhaps. <laughs> well, first, I would like to go to her and say, I am sorry that your life didn't pan out the way you thought it was going to, but I think it'll turn out better than you thought to as well. Fair. Uh, who is this Mortimer J. Sneed? He is a professor from the Grand Academy, formerly on sabbatical. He is a very wise man. Ah. Who likes to Do bone everything. Like fish? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you think he would possess the knowledge to determine how this... If he didn't, he could find out. Where is he at? The Grand Academy. Uh, what's the name of the island? I forgot. Oh! Sure. We need to tell you about the world that you are in. <laughs> she has no idea. Yeah, I, mean, this is, this I, is I realize this. And I say, 
Tigress, we we really need to let's give to her talk. a globe. Yeah, <laughs> we'll 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 explain the world to her so that she can um, benefit the citizens of her realm. Okay, Daphne, what knowledge would you like to impart upon the new ruler? Which way? What what information <laughs> would you like to give to Tigress? You're losing your girlfriend. Yeah, she, she, ain't, she ain't adventuring with you yeah, anymore. I know, I know. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, am I giving her a piece of advice or like a physical item? Piece of advice. Um, or you can give her a physical item if you want. <laughs> do I have any weight? Do I still have my weird bikini thing? You got the fly. <laughs> no, I'm keeping that fly. <laughs> <laughs> So what do it's I do with the shield? It is pretty fly. So <laughs> that, that's the next question. So go ahead, Daphne. Um, I guess I'm gonna. I don't. What am I wearing? I really don't have my weird bikini thing that I stole off someone. I got rid of that. No, you still have that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her. You got the the, bottom to the that. dong dong sling. Oh yeah, I'm going to give her that. <laughs> As I do. Anytime you need us for anything. Just call okay. her. Um, uh, you guys, I assume we're going to show her the globe and explain to it what it means down in the map room. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, she can pretty much see the world from that thing, can't she? She can. She just had never had access to it. Yeah. So, she spins it, and you can see some of the continents that you are familiar with, including mm -hmm. Telosia. Mm -hmm. Where is this Merman Sneed guy at? Um, well, we were in Cacophony, and then he went here. You have traveled this far. Mm -hmm. yes. on, an, uh, on a sea, an ocean. No, just the letter C. Yeah, just letters. <laughs> just from the bottom all the way up. Yeah, uh, he's more more water than you could ever imagine. So, do you have to cross water again to get to this place? Yes, we do. We do not possess boats. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot help no, you. That's fine. We'll we can find it. Out. We'll 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 find our way there. Would you be willing to accept this perilous journey? Uh, for you? Yes. Yes, because you seem to be pure of heart. And, and that is rare. For you, anything. Nice. <laughs> I press sure. digitate that bikini bottom for her. <laughs> like, nice. Uh, Do a little steam clean. Put yeah. the tag on there. <laughs> Uh, no, it's supposed to have my scent on it. That's the purpose. It had ball scent on it. You I took was it from the dude. Of on it. Uh, everybody roll perception check. <laughs> Darn it. It's so stinky. You can see the smell emanating from oh it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 19. <laughs> 18. 18. All three of you here screaming and yelling coming from outside. It sounds of a fearful rant. A who? You, are, ant? you are on the second floor. A rant, ranting. Oh. You guys are on the second floor. Hmm. Is there a window that's not it. like this? No. They're all like that. I guess we have mm. to go down. Okay. Yeah. Ah, if you ignore it, it'll stop. It's wild. <laughs> As you guys rush down with Tigris and Toe. I'm not rushing. I'm okay. casually walking down. You're looking around. Yeah. Sides, We're looking it. at the uh, smell mosaics. of the other parts of the bikini. Uh, <laughs> you get down there and you see several of the men at arms are heaving spears up into the air. What the hell? As, as your glance moves up, you see a very familiar sight. Oh, oh let me guess. Seriously? It's Aerosmith and Skippy Lee, huh? And Skippy Lee, the two of them. Oh, my God. Skippy Lee is spitting. How they out end up here? The How they balloon. end up here? You'll find out. <laughs> Skippy is spitting on the people below, screaming <laughs> at them. She's gonna shove that spear up your ass. Aerosmith maneuvers 
the craft and lands on the top of the tower of the curve. Nice. I, I, I say... Tigerus is freaked out. I, I'm just it's like, okay. j- relax, relax. They're chill, friends. Chill. They're, they're our friends of ours. Well, sort of. Sort of. But actually, they can help us get us to where we need to go, Tigerus. Should we speak with them? Yes, we should. Up to the top of the tower? Very much so. Daphne, as you casually walk down the stairs, the others come <laughs> by come you. We're right going up the stairs. Uh, you're going to have to hump in order to get ahead of Rorjak, uh, Pulse, uh, Hepta, Harf, and Esta. Because they're freaked out. Now, none of the spears are going to reach the top of the Even though tower. they're freaked out, but they're running up. Well, yeah, they're following you. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, they're, they're behind you Oh, guys. they're like running outside, you mean. Yeah, uh, well, so, they're running up. So yeah. you guys run up to the tower. By the time you get to the throne, Skippy Lee is looking at the chair. No. Intently. Or, go ahead. Go have ahead and seat. have a seat. <laughs> oh, I'm not royalty. Ooh. No, no, no. Go Hello, ahead. pretty lady. How are you? Uh, <laughs> have tigers, a seat. Tigers kind of looks around and tell him to have a seat. Shakes his hand. I. It would hurt him. <laughs> no. He'll like oh, it. He'll deserve uh, it. Coming <laughs> down the rungs uh, is Aerosmith. My friends, I have come to pay my debt. I was told I could find you here. Have you ever been to Cathaway? What a place. It yeah. is It is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> Can you have Skippy Lee have a seat on this throne? Uh, I cannot tell that man anything. So come on. <laughs> As a favor for me. Skippy, sit on the chair. Pick a load off. And, uh, and he's like, oh, look, I'm a person. Oh, look. He's got two <laughs> heads from the curves. So he's fucking around. God my friends, it. I have completed my task. I am here to pay, make payment to you and see the world. I can tell him, we have a t- we have a mission. We actually need to get a to the Grand Duke. Deca- God. Yes, we want a mission from God. Uh, we're, we need to get to the Grand Academy. That is very far away, my friends. It is. But you know what? I can take you. Awesome. For a price. (laughs) And what is the price? I think we settled that price with you when we turned over what we found at the bottom of the... (laughs) He is here to pay you 5,000 in gold. Oh, okay. How about 1,000? And the trip? No, 1,000 for the trip. I will no. give you four thousand. You owe us money. Yeah, he said he'll give us four thousand. Yeah. He owes you five thousand. He'll give you four thousand in a trip. I'm just like everybody in sight check. Yeah. Okay. Seventeen. Mm. Zadar doesn't notice an eight. Eighteen. Uh Daphne, Camille. It would speed up the trip. Mm-hmm. You can try and barter if you want. So we pay a thousand, but he's still giving us money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, five, he, he five has, thousand. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, for right. the ship. That's remember fair. the salvage rights right. on the ship. Right, right. So, uh, I confer with them, and it's just like, I mean. It's a thousand gold, but it'll keep us from having to do all this ourselves. <laughs> you know, so. And I get to see Mortimer again. You do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> hey, and the unholy chick. Zephyr is not unholy. Mm-hmm. She's goth. Oh, uh, yeah. She's goth. <laughs> my friends, is that a deal? It is a deal. Sure. Only one problem. Hmm. What's that? I only have room for three. And I am already. Where is Skippy? <laughs> well, I guess we don't have to worry about it then. He's going to stay here. <laughs> you should see this stuff. And he comes out of the uh, area where you found the ebony fly and the diary. Mm, what okay. is he in possession of? Just a few papers. Skippy? Uh, 
Okay, you go over there and we'll be right back. Skippy, let me see those papers. Why? Because <laughs> I actually found them, so. But yet I have them. <laughs> uh, Tigris laughs. He is very cute. Every ruler should have a jester. There you go. Actually, I am in need of a seneschal. Would any of you be willing to remain and become my seneschal? Ooh. I'm like, can I and... offer the shield to her father? D12 against me. Ten. I cannot accept, although I appreciate it. I believe the true Seneschal should be Hemta. Really? I'm just like, that's... Why? That, that... Hemta is a wise and powerful leader. Mm -hmm. She can assist my daughter in making judgment, sound judgment, on which direction this country should go. And I also I, bring a break up, bring up to you know, she is Judah. Judah has the only connecting coast around here, so they'll be in charge of trade. The Azine also have it, but they are oh. a nomadic tribe. My right. concern is that she tried to circumvent the whole conversation but, and go upstairs and sit on the throne. She did. She did. So, and she has learned her lesson. How do we know that? Uh, her buttocks look like a waffle. <laughs> <laughs> that will heal. I, I, let's take this as a thought. She, she was becoming accepting that she wasn't the true ruler. She just needed to see for herself. No, she, she was had pretending that, that, that she wasn't the true ruler. And then she went up and sat on the throne and got her ass fried. So she learned that she wasn't the true ruler. Just FYI, we're getting a lot of electrical activity mm -hmm. here. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just Rorj concerned. I'm throwing that out to the rest of you. Rorjak will say, what about your diminutive friend? Who's that? Skippy Lee. Oh, fuck no. But you he's, know him. He's not very responsible. He's a goddamn idiot is what he is. He's a bomb. <laughs> so I asked Rorschach, do you have anybody other than Hemta that you would think would be qualified? Hemta steps up and says, I do not wish to be Seneschal. I nominate Tolana. That I will agree with. That is a very good choice. Tolana is shocked uh, and speechless. Uh, Juju and Muka kunk, 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 uh, bash their spears on the floor. Uh, the three associates from the Edra, Zach, Habus, and Nimbus, ging, 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 also concur. Yeah. Uh, Talana gives a heartfelt speech to Hepta I am your most loyal servant. I, I, I do not think it's right. Hepta will say, as my loyal servant, you shall serve the true queen, the Kurd. And so I tell her, turn to me, and I take my shield off, and I put it over her head. It does not work that way. Really? You have to go into the Seneschal's room. Okay, well, we go there. All right. Do we have to bang or what? <laughs> Strip it naked. Uh, you turn it over to her in the Seneschal's room and say you might want to paint. This place is a fucking pit. No, uh, I tell her I think she will be a good Seneschal. I sense good things <clears throat> about her and I wish her luck. I appreciate that, my friend. I hope your travel to destroy this item, whatever it is, bowling ball, uh, sewing machine, football, football uh, is successful. 
is she well healed now? Because she was she was in that battle where we both took that ass beating. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, it's that's been a week. Okay. So yeah, so there everybody's fine. You guys are fine. Everybody's fine now. Okay. Uh, you return to the throne room. Uh, Skippy is collecting heads from the broken statues, God. pointing out that he can't fix this. Okay. He's got he's got he's got the head. yeah he's got the wand. She uh, he he. Uh, Tigress looks at you guys and goes, he, he can't fix this, can he? No. Okay. Uh, Aerosmith's like, hey, what are we waiting for? In his best uh, Rocky sound. Uh, let's go see that Mortimer guy. Let's go. Uh, he starts climbing the rungs. He's going up onto the roof through the hole in the ceiling. You can kind of see him getting ready. Uh, the timbers are creaking. That fucking thing's kind of heavy. To oh boy, sitting on yeah. there. Um, you uh, might want to reinforce that roof. <laughs> oh, we've got some work to do. Um, Tigress hugs each of you profusely. Skippy Lee reaches out. Gotta earn that. <laughs> nice. I look at him and just like, well, smell you later. Nice. <laughs> uh, you guys head up to the rooftop. Talana stands behind Hepta, or stands behind Tigris, uh, adorned in the mark of the Seneschal. Uh, Hepta is okay with all of this. The others are all okay with this. As you go up onto the roof, uh, you hear them running down the stairs. Uh, Aerosmith uh, gets everybody aboard and says, are you ready for the adventure to continue? I say, uh, you were in Cath- or sorry, Cacophony before, yes? Yes, we've met before. Do you have any teas or coffee? D12 against me. Did you did you pack a picnic basket? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Two. He goes, better than that, I have a gift for you three from a pair of constables. <gasps> Harrison Gibble? <laughs> yes. Your associates thought you might need this. Yes. Uh, and they produce beverage, which is going to need some warming up. Which I can take cheese. care of. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Aerosmith yanks on the cord. The flame causes the uh, balloon to rise. You see a depression function in the roof which is going to need reinforced but as you take off you see everybody oh, Hi. Do it, do it, doing the end of the movie That's wave so to you as you really walk your ass away oh, and that's you, true or wizard of oz right. on the, on and the you, balloon and you head in a Not north. like a poof of green or something no. no no that's when she disappeared so uh you guys head off Northwesterly direction into the morning sun and clouds. The adventure at the Tower of the Curd is complete. A new ruler has been chosen. A second in command has been selected. Peace for the moment reigns in Pelosia. Yay, we're awesome. You guys are now seventh level. <laughs> As you head off into the skies. Uh, That's what yeah. happens when you become seventh level. You just die. You just ascend up to the clouds. Is well, that what's you, happening? <laughs> you, you can't die before you see Mortimer J. Sneed one more time. Right. Uh, fortunately for you, the trip will be substantially faster uh, than overland. You will not have to worry about uh, ship travel or any of the dangers that accrue on land or on sea. And let's face it, how much danger is there going to be in the air? Oh, just don't even say that. So (laughs) you head off into the northwesterly direction, uh, into the west, into the west you go. Uh, Successful at the scenario's completion. So uh, we are done rather early. Uh, what There's happens? My dog. To you, what happens to you next? It's going to require more time, uh, and I will 
give you a teaser here at the end. But first off, uh, Daphne, what do you think of the solution that you guys came up with? Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? I assume it's going to work. I, yeah. Was it the I right feel like now we're about to just die for some reason when we come back. Ah. Also, we're ending early to make up for all the time that Kyle goes over. Yes. Oh. Thank you, Kyle. Oh, Kyle. Kyle. Kyle went <laughs> over big time last week. <laughs> Shade to Kyle, baby. Awesome. Uh, uh, David, what'd you think? Is this the right solution? Is this the right way to handle it? I knew it was her all along. I felt it. No, no, it was. It, it was actually a die roll that decided it. Yeah, I know. I can imagine. No, no, this is a uh, yeah, definitely a, <laughs> a really great ending to this. So, I like it. And Carrie. It was perfect. It was awesome. Of course, it was because I'm not Kyle. <laughs> oh, oh, more shade. Uh, it will take you about a week to get to the Grand Academy. Fortunately for you, uh, Aerosmith did not leave Cacophony without a few maps. Uh, so he's pretty sure he can get you there. Well, thank God. But after three days of travel, something appears on the horizon. No. It causes you some consternation as you float through the puffy white clouds ahead of you the clouds disperse and they're sitting majestically on an expanse of cloud a dragon is it what is it the like griffin things we dealt with whatever is a, that's it is a castle oh. is it blue <laughs> it is a sky blue castle with oh. min minarets atop awesome. the towers. Is there a beanstalk ascending from below it? There is no beanstalk, and the cloud appears to be stationary. Mm. Everybody give me an arcana check. Mm. My god, it's really So it could be like a there. ship. Mm. <laughs> uh, 19 for Zadar. What is 9 plus 6? 15? 15. 15. Yeah. Daphne? What was it? Three. Look at the screen. Wow. And that one plus two, so it's wow. three. Uh, Daphne, you have no idea what this is. Camille, you've heard cloud. stories of a cloud city, which is weird. Zadar, uh, things that live in clouds are not always friendly. Right. <laughs> they enjoy their solitude. Hence, that's why they are on a cloud. You are apprehensive. Daphne is happy-go-lucky. Camille and Aerosmith are pensive. And Aerosmith turns to you and says, we're running low on supplies. Mm. I suggest we stop here and barter. Really? I don't think we're going to have a choice. Okay. Uh, he says, look down. Nothing but ocean. Okay. <laughs> uh, he will maneuver his craft onto the cloud and perform a landing in the wispy tendrils of the cloud. Hopefully he's gotten better at it. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, a, he's a pro now. Uh, he... He will have told you in the past three days that there was a small incident in Cathaway and he's probably not going to go back there anytime soon. Nice. It was not his fault, per se. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. He just didn't have a license. Right. Uh, no, you will not fall through. Uh, that is a good guess. Uh, yeah, you, that, it's always a possibility. So. You, you will land on this cloud and it's a pretty big castle. Okay. Uh, the sunlight filters through the clouds above it. The minarets sparkle. Uh, What's it smell like? <laughs> fresh air. All right, Blake. Uh, and you hear the rattling of a chain as an ivory drawbridge lowers. Not a goose, okay. Somebody has seen you coming. 
Uh, and they again, like us. We will end this 15 minutes early uh, just because uh, in order to do the wrap up, it, it was crapshoot on how long it would last. I know it wouldn't run over. Kyle. <laughs> uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the Tower of the Curd. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought uh, it offered a lot of variables that you guys hadn't seen yet. Uh, and yeah. considering this is the first adventure outside of the city walls, uh, I think, A, you guys did a good job. Uh, you made reasonable choices. And you came to a solid conclusion. And the dice were with you. So all in all, job well done. Prep your character for seventh level for next time, and we will see who or what lives in the tower in the clouds. I'm sure it's probably a friend. It'll be fine. It'll yeah. be great. It's a party place. Uh -huh. uh, folks, uh, normally we go two hours. That is not going to be the case tonight, but we certainly appreciate your tutelage. Uh, for those of you critters who just wanted an early windup, but thanks for joining us. Come back. Don't forget, if you guys want to be on a one-shot like on Saturday or on the talk show on Tuesday, hit us up, mhoboinc at Gmail or Twitter. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, if you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our crap or crap from Pirate Dog Dice or good stuff from uh, oddfishgames.com, hit them up at Pirate Dog Dice at Oddfish Games. Uh, tiny r tiny url dot com, dot com slash rpg swag yes. uh, for all of us here at murder hobo inc thank you and we will see you saturday on the one shot everybody give the dating game kiss and let's get the hell out of here early mm -hmm. ah. thank you kyle <laughs> done and done Mm-hmm.